Hey, thanks for joining me here at Power Mods. We're making big changes to this Brute Force 750. One thing we have to do, we gotta address these shocks. Now these shocks are totally blown out. They're not working anymore. I can tell when we're going down the trail, there's just no life left on them. They're totally blown out. But we do have a solution to that. We have these Bronco shocks. We're installing these. They're OEM compatible. They'll fit directly onto your bike. They have a stiffer spring on them, about 10% stiffer than what would normally come on this bike. I call it a bike, I know. Uh, it's an ATV in some parts of the world, but we call them bikes here. But if you have a snow plow, you're adding a whole lot of extra weight on there. You're gonna want the extra spring. Just like on the back, you know, if you're carrying big loads, if you've got the heavy winch on the front, you want a little bit of extra stiffness on your spring. Now these are gas shocks. There's a fully adjustable preload. You'll be able to adjust these and you'll know where they need to go when you have the bike fully loaded. When you've got that plow on there, when you've got your winch and your gear. We have a rack for this. We put a boat on top of it. So we might want to go a little stiffer on that spring. So we're going to install these. It's a good idea to put a little bit of uh, grease in these bushings before you install them. It's very easy to do. All you need is a 14 millimeter wrench. You can use two wrenches if you want, or you can use one of these little guns, very handy. There's a few things you should know when you're dealing with these, just to make life a little bit easier. If you're trying to undo the bolt end of it, you're gonna have a harder time. Anchor the bolt and loosen the nut. It'll work out much easier for you. And depending on how rusty these old nuts and bolts are, make sure that you use a high quality wrench and a six point socket. Uh, sometimes these 12 points, they're a little too rounded and they don't really get the grip on there that you want and they might strip out on you, right? But we've sort of gone through these and we make sure these come off pretty easy because it's video and that's what we do. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna pop this off here. Now, I highly recommend that you wear safety glasses. I can't find mine because of the move. So I'm using the safety squint. And when you're in here, now's a really good time. I mean, we have our plastics off, but when you're underneath the machine, it's a really good time to look around. You know, check out these ball joints. These are kind of shot on our bike. They need to be changed. Um, you know, there's some wires that are really close to this exhaust system that we just put out. So we're gonna have to make some changes there as well. So it's a good idea just to look around and see what you're dealing with. Make sure that you're not gonna run into any problems later on down the line. It's kind of like bike maintenance. You, you wanna make sure you're on top of it. Or you're not gonna be riding when all your buds are. These are totally done. No good. And very limited adjustability. Not like these babies. This just keeps the squeaks from happening. And technically speaking, you should grease up those bushings every once in a while. One thing you'll notice with, especially the shocks and the nuts and bolts and everything that hold them on, they're rarely looked at. But people, you know, it's, it's really overlooked. We just keep riding things with no shocks on them. They're just totally blown out. But since they're there, we can see them. We never really pay attention to them. We're good to go, but that's not the way it is. This will change the way the bike rides. And I know right now it doesn't ride well. And there are a lot of things you can do to your machine that improve the way it works. And we spend a lot of time on them. So it's important that something like the major component that affects your ride is look af looked after. And we just have a tendency to ignore these things, which isn't good. But now we're looking after them and they look awesome. Now we're gonna have to make sure we torque these nuts and bolts to the manufacturer specs. They're all available online now. There are all kinds of online manuals. We'll come back and we'll do that to these, of course. Make sure you do subscribe if you haven't already and keep on watching because we have a lot of cool things going on with this, this bike. We do have a lot of uh, social media presence, so you gotta check us out on Facebook and Instagram and all that. We'd be happy to have you. 
And of course, we sell these. You can order them right through us here at Power Mods, www.powermods.com. It's because it's what we do. Is this one not off the ground? Oh, it's not, it needs another crank. Simon, can you give her a little crank, please? I know it's not in your job description. There you go, done. You just got yourself a raise. More seat time on the brute. More seat time on the brute. You get to drive yes. this baby. <laughs> I know you like it. I think after this bike is done with all these upgrades, we're gonna be fighting over this thing. Here's a little trick. Sometimes when you're trying to get that bolt out, I couldn't push it from the back side. Sometimes you, you do one of these, you can't get it out. Oops, is that the wrong way? Well, that's tight. You do one of these. Sometimes you can spin it. You just take a wrench, you put it in behind, put a little bit of pressure. Just do one of those. Oh, just out of necessity, I figured that out. So these Bronco shocks, you know, they're a great inexpensive alternative to the really pricey custom stuff we got out there. Uh, there may not be as much adjustability, but I tell you, they're gonna do a lot for you. They're gonna increase the comfort of your ride. They're gonna work great with your heavy loads and they're gonna last a long time. Now these are good high quality gas shocks and I wouldn't be putting them on unless I thought they were good. Because I don't like junk, never have. You guys know me, I don't deal with the junk. Like I said, this always works better with your buddy. You guys are hanging around working on your machines. Simon and I work in here all the time. And although it is work, it does feel pretty good. It does, I'm not gonna lie. Making improvements is always feel good. I think it's gonna help the ground clearance because there was a lot of sag on these. Yeah. yeah you're right. Those. We were pretty abusive to our machines, and this will more than likely have a plow on it. Um, it'll definitely have the boat on it in the fall. We carry a 10 foot aluminum boat when we go up to the far north where we go to play. So it's going to be the boat carrier. And usually there's another person stuck on it as well. Uh, this one here was a real bugger to get off. It was in a bad spot. And I kind of did strip it a little bit, but I managed to use it. What I am going to do is put it on a more accessible place. So if I have to get it off, I can do so. It was stuck up at the very top, just in front of this gas tank. And if I were to put that back on, a couple of years of riding, it's going to be a little rusty. It's not going to be good. I'm going to be good to get off. So that's a major upgrade to this machine. Can't wait to try them out. Bronco heavy duty gas shocks. You can buy them through us or any other distributor or dealer who sells Bronco products. I got to thank you for watching as usual. I think we have a Bronco carburetor kit for both carbs and we have a Bronco seat cover. Oh, very cool. Check this out. Cause our seat, is hosed, as they say here in Canada. Look at that. That's how they fix things here. That's not how we fix things. We fix things with this. This is the Bronco seat cover. The gripper seat cover. Comes with instructions. Look at that. That is gonna be nice. Especially riding the mud like we do. But that's gonna be another video. Thanks for watching, stay tuned. More upgrades to the brute force coming.